Hey, what is up, guys? Is, is this Rain, and welcome back to another video on my channel. This is going to be another talking. What is this Rain? In the month of October, and you know, this is this is like I post these in the middle of a month, so this one represents late September and early October. And if you don't know what these are, these, this is basically you know where I document what I've been doing. And this month. Channel wise, it's been really unproductive, so I don't really have much to talk about that because I did I did post a phasmophobia video a couple of days ago. You know, I guess that's something, but that's really the only thing I posted on my channel, I believe, since the last one. Because I haven't really I've I've been trying I've been playing a lot of a lot of uh, PC games, and you know it's not as easy as the PS4. Like recording is not as easy as the PS4 because there's a bunch of problems with my PC like static sounds and now I have a problem where for some reason it runs out of memory when I try to record and other times it's, it's just weird man like I don't know what's wrong with my PC or I'm gonna try to fix it though I bought a I bought a, an external sound card that will hopefully get rid of the static sound so that I can probably so that I may be able to you know record because I am noticing that the USB ports they sound fine you know they sound fine when I plug a mic into it but like the specific uh, ports for the headphones they, they sound terrible yeah they sound terrible so I'm gonna go try to fix that but there should be more videos this month and you're gonna know why later on but I'm gonna make this a uh, part of the talking what is this rain stuff right I'm gonna go play some music across the entire video so if you didn't notice I mean if you uh, if you watched the previous talking with the strength that was a month ago and I just started playing guitar right and I'm gonna play the song that I played the last time but this time it's gonna be a little bit modified because that one that one was the easy part even though this song is pretty easy that one was the easiest one this one's slightly harder I just learned it today because I didn't notice that there was another version of this song but I just learned it today it's morning right now I learned it this morning and I'm gonna play it for you and I'm also gonna play uh, some songs later on when I get to the music part and yeah you know what let's just get it started right I'm gonna bring my mic up a little bit so that you guys can't hear me breathing because what I'm noticing when I'm playing music while doing these is that I breathe really fucking loud like you can actually hear me breathing so I'm gonna go I'm gonna go change it right well, I'm gonna go play some music while you guys watch me butcher butchering a guy in GTA 5, All right? Jeez, dude, I I have a I have a really hard time getting to that G chord because it's it goes for it's this is A minor. That's A minor, and then I have to transition to C, which is see, wait, hold on, see, this, this is A minor, and then transition to C, which is. And then after that, I got a transition to G, and I kind of improvised there with a little bit of something. I don't know what I did, but I, I kind of improvised where I did like, and then G. G is hard, man. Like I, I can I can do G. Like I know what G the G chord is, but transitioning from any other chord to G, it's really hard because C. You know C and and A minor and all that. Like you know they're they're easy. You know because your your stuff, your fingers are really close by. You can easily like locate where the chord is. Like A minor and then C. But like going to G, you have to like completely displace your index finger. So like it kind of like, I kind of have a lot of hard time going to G, man. That's G. That's G major. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. God damn, dude. 
I, you know, I, I'm actually kind of proud of myself because I, I've done a lot. I've done a lot of progress in my guitar. I've been playing twice a day for an hour, at least I try to. I, and, you know, I've just been playing a bunch of songs. I, I know it's weird, but, like, I've been mostly playing Last of Us songs because that's really the only... That, that I mean, that's a game that sparked my interest in playing the guitar. And I think I almost know most of the ones that have tutorials and on YouTube. I, most of it, you know, not like I don't know all of them. I don't know them perfectly. Actually, I should not even say that because I I know Jack shit about those. But you know what? I'm learning, right? I'm learning. I know a couple of songs now. I can probably do them proficiently, but don't hold me to that, right? But, well, I'm going to go get to that later when we get to the music portion, but for now we're going to go to the channel. I briefly touched on it earlier, and man, it's been really unproductive. Phasmophobia is a fun game, you know, it's a really fun game. I want to keep playing it. Holy crap, that scared me. I just got a notification on my PS4. You know, it's a fun game, but it's really boring, and, you know, with my mic, with how crappy my mic is, I, like, really have to select the clips that I include in the video or else it's it's gonna sound terrible so I'm gonna try to get that fixed because I'm trying to get my PC like I know like I have a really low end not a really low end I have a an average PC that can run a couple of games from before I'd say 2015 but you know it, it sometimes it, it's it's not as good as the PS4 you know it's not as good as the PS4, because PS4, I can deadass just start a game and just start recording, and easy, you know? I got a video for the week, easy. But with PC, like, you gotta, there's a lot of things you gotta do, which is why I was very hesitant to purchase a PC, uh, like, before, because, because, <laughs> jeez, literally, I bought a PC. This PC is relatively cheap, dude. It has 8 gigabytes RAM but it had a terrible video card and it was like two hundred and fifty dollars Australian dollars you can translate that if you don't if you don't live in Australia it's like 250 bucks right 250 and you know it can run most games but the video card was trash so I bought myself a 1050 Ti and I thought I could plug it into the to the to the thing because it's just plug and play the 1050 Ti low profile graphics card you, you can just plug it in and play but for me for some reason I couldn't plug it into the blue slot, I had to plug it into the black slot, which is a lot less, you know, it doesn't use up all of the GPU, it only uses a part of it, and, you know, it's, it's messed me up, because now I'm getting a bunch of problems about not having enough memory, and, you know, it's a bad time. I'm trying to record some Rising Storm Vietnam, I tried playing Squad, but it's terrible, I, I tried it twice and it didn't work, so I refunded it, and I bought Rising Storm and that's a really fun game. It runs really well on my PC, but for some reason, Bandicam just won't record it. I bought Bandicam, and it's it won't record it. You know, since buying this PC, I'd probably say that I spent probably... You know, it, this is actually really good. 400 bucks, 500, probably even 600 dollars. And that's actually really good because some... You know, like, uh, some PCs cost like a thousand, and, I mean, I guess that's like the high-end stuff, you know, the ones where you actually can play good games, but this one, 400, 500, 600 dollars, Australian dollars, and I can run most games, that's pretty nice, so, I'm actually kind of proud of myself for, you know, finding that, but I guess it's not really that hard to find, so, <laughs> yeah, uh, anyways, going back to YouTube, Phasmophobia, two-minute video, that's the only one that I have to represent this entire month. And, you know, it's really hard because trying to edit on PC, it's there's not a lot of good editing programs, so I have to record it on PC, transfer it to my USB, and then plug it into my PS4 so I can re edit it on ShareFactory. And that's a very time-consuming process, you know? Because sometimes you get really, really massive massive files and it, they usually take hours to complete f copying so I gotta like plan everything ahead so now instead of you know me going on GTA or something and just recording a video I have to like actually plan it 
which sucks because it's really inconvenient. But I'm going to try to do a workaround of it. I'm going to try to find a good editing program or whatever. But for now, my up, utmost priority is just is just finding is just getting rid of the freaking static sound from my microphone. That's the priority that I have. Priority number one. After that, it should be pretty smooth sailing, because if you get rid of all the technical problems that accompanies, you know, playing with video games and recording it, like if you can get rid of all the technical problems, it's easy. Like playing video video games and posting it on YouTube is easy. You know, you just gotta make it flawless. You know, you just gotta make it the most monotonous thing ever, which is what PS4 provides. You know, you can just sit down, play record and just edit it on share factory and post easy peasy but pc yeah of course it's not it's not it's not a it's not a cakewalk with pc all right what what else do i have oh channel games man games i've been playing a lot of total war games because you know i've been deprived of the total war series for i'd say two years now because I did play it very briefly when my PC was doing my, my laptop was doing fine but then it just crashed I'm playing Shogun Total War I'm playing as, as Setsuma and I'm currently at the Imperial Vanguard stage of the story I haven't completed I haven't had a victory but you know it's it's real nice real nice to just play some Total War because I've been missing that I've been missing playing Total War and the only closest like thing I ever have to like the, the closest game I have had to a game like Total War, I'd say probably be Madden. You know, like I mean, I mean, like you know, where you can manage and put into action the stuff that you manage. You know, you know those type of games, Madden. And yeah, that's the only game that I've played religiously since. So it's really nice to have Total War. You know, where you can have children and marry them at 14. I have a daughter, by the way, in, in my Satsuma Imperial playthrough, and she's 14, and apparently I can marry her to a 30-year-old general, and I, 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 uh, I mean, to a 30-year-old, you know, to, to just any faction, and I've been in a war, you know, really terrible war, and I've been tempted, I've been really tempted to just marry her to one of my old rivals to, you know, make sure that peace is consistent. But it's just, I was like, nah, you know what, I'm going to go away another four years, even though it's not as, it's not more moral that way, because she doesn't have a choice in who she marries, but at least she's 18. I don't know what I'm talking about, dude, I bet to other people this sounds suspicious as fuck, so I'm going to stop talking about marrying 14-year-olds to 30-year-old generals. <laughs> I've also been playing Phasmophobia, I do want to play it more, but for some reason people in that game are fucking stupid, man. Like, even... Like, I, I don't know why the fuck... There, there's two modes of playing Phasmophobia. There's a private, you can make a private server, or you can make a public server. And if you don't know the difference between private and public, then I think you're probably the stupidest person in the world. But for some reason, motherfuckers make public servers and kick you out of it. They, they just kick you. Like, what the fuck did you expect, dude? You made a public server, people make, people join it, and you're gonna kick them? Like, I'm not even that bad, dude. I'm not even a terrible level. I'm not even level 1 and they still kick me. So I don't know what the fuck is wrong with people in that game. Although I will admit that they do have some pretty nice people. Albeit now it's getting terrible because, you know, the, the modding community is starting to put like stupid names. Like I saw a bunch of names on on Reddit, you know, and it, it's just terrible now. So, well, it's not terrible. It's just that it's relatively less good. The community that is or at least maybe I've just not been having too much luck in finding a good game, which that is that's probably the most likely case for me. Arma, I've been trying to play Arma with Caleb and all that, but Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead has not been working, so we're not gonna be playing that. Arma 3, I did record some Arma 3, but of course the audio was trash, so I can't post any of that. I have zero. Zilch. I have nothing. Nada. No videos that I can post on YouTube. The only on my PS4, the only videos I have are the ones I recorded literally two months ago, before before I I you know I moved out and got a PC. I have nothing. 
I'm going to try to do something with a PC, like maybe a single player thing, but I've just not having been having a lot of opportunities, but I'm going to go try, right? I'm definitely going to have more than more than one video in this period, right? So you can look forward to that if that's what you're looking forward to, which I highly doubt. Oh my god. How it's going. I wrote down here how it's going. My god, how it's going, bro. I don't even know. It's kind of bittersweet right now because I'm kind of done with school, you know, for this semester. I only have one more year to go and I'm kind of, I'm pretty pumped. Not gonna lie. I'm pretty pumped about school because, you know, you know, do you remember when you were in high school and you were in your senior year and that was like the fastest year for me. I literally just up and at him, like, easy. Apparently it was supposed to be hard. I mean, I guess it was. But it was easy for me. But I'm noticing that since, like, university, though, I've gotten a little bit more lazy. Look, look at this. Look at this. Okay, never mind. I was commentating on the on the gameplay. But ever since high school, like, I've noticed that I've gotten really lazy. Like, s some things that I would have otherwise, like, been great at in high school, I, I've been terrible at in university. Because, you know, in my first year of university, in high school, I got, I was a good student, man. I got A's and B's, like, easy, bro, easy. Even though I got a terrible OP, but you know what? We're not going to talk about that. Well, not terrible OP, just an average OP. I, I couldn't get into a medicine program if I wanted to, right? But I got A's and B's. I was doing very well. I, legal studies, which I did, which is why I... One of the most determining factors as to why I chose my current degree, I was getting A's on that, dude. I was balling, balling. And then I come to university, first semester of university, right? I came there looking, you know, I was like, man, this is my year, man. This is, this is my time. It's my time to shine. First semester, I do all my assignments. I struggled, right? I struggled. I knew that I had to do put in extra work, so I did my readings because you have a bunch of weekly readings which I don't do now because fuck readings dude like the readings that they make you read like fuck that some of them are useless like I don't even know how to filter which one so I don't even do my readings I just do my lectures uh, ever since the uh, ever since the latter part of my first year of university I've I, I haven't done any of my readings I haven't done any of my quote unquote homework even though they don't provide those I've been doing nothing but doing lectures and doing my assignments and I've been succeeding I have not failed a single s subject I'm kind of surprised I've just been doing the very bare minimum and uh, I'm succeeding I'm getting passing grades I even got a high distinction last semester I don't know how the fuck I got that high distinction but I got it and it's been working I have not failed a single subject and I'm on track to graduate with the way I am, my, my, my structure, my subject layout is planned, I'm on my way if I just don't mess it up, you know, so, you know, if you're watching this, and you're in university or something, just do the bare minimum, man, like, like, you know, it's, uh, obviously, if you don't want to do it, if you want to excel and be the greatest, then go on right ahead, you know, no one's stopping you, I'm not stopping you, of course you should do it. But, like, yeah, I, you should just not, I don't know how to phrase this without sounding like I'm, I'm advocating for doing terribly at school. I, you know, if you're going to do something, do it. But if you don't want to, then don't. In university, it's, 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 it's really not that big of a deal if you, if you don't do your, I, I don't know, maybe I'm just talking out of my own ass. Maybe I have a, maybe I have different experience from, from the rest of you. I'm just saying don't stress it, all right? This is coming from a low achiever, right? This is coming from a person who gets C's and sometimes B's in university. So take it with a grain of salt. But I've been succeeding, you know, I've been succeeding with the way I've been studying, which is really, really, <laughs> really surprising, to say the least. So I, I don't know if I'm proud of myself or I don't know. I've been succeeding. We're just doing the bare minimum. I haven't. I don't even do most of the, excuse me, most of the lectures. Like when I finish writing up my assessments, I just don't do the rest of the lectures. That's it. And 
Even then, I've been struggling, which I don't know why the fuck I've been struggling when I'm literally doing the very bare minimum. So, yeah, I, I have been getting lazy in university, and I think that's due to the lack of accountability, which it provides, you know, because in university, you don't have to attend lectures. You know, teachers don't make you go to university. Your lecturers won't let you go to the university. They, they just, they don't give a shit. They'll just read off, they'll, they'll literally read off of a of a bunch of lecture slides. They don't give a fuck, dude. If if you failed, then who cares? They're still getting paid. So, I guess that's the reason why, due to the lack of accountability, is the reason I've been lazy in university. But, you know, and that's going to be my segue into this topic because, man, you know, in the last one, I told you that I got myself a good job. That Well, not a good job, but one that will provide me with a good experience. Well, couple days ago I walked in there and I was just like you know what fuck this I walked out <laughs> because okay let me tell you a story this is gonna be another story right this is gonna be a job story though let me get comfortable so last week right last week th there was this dude who called and I'm not fucking trained right I'm not I don't know how to fucking answer phone calls especially for a law firm how the fuck am I supposed to know how to answer phone phone calls in a law firm. I've just been in the back just doing admin shit, and I've been pretty satisfied with that. I'm happy doing that. But then these motherfuckers put me on the phone, up in the fucking reception. Like, who the fuck... I don't know how to do shit, man. I've only been here for, like, three weeks. Probably just a month. And I don't know how to answer phone calls. I don't know how to fuck the law firm works. I don't know all these office policies. And this person called. He's like... Hey, I got a speeding ticket. At this time, I didn't know. I mean, like, at this time, I did know that we didn't handle speeding tickets. I knew that. But, like, the other person there, she was, like... Like, like she was encouraging me. I thought she was listening. I was about to tell that person, Oh, no, I'm sorry, we don't do speeding tickets. You know, I don't. we don't do speeding tickets. But this motherfucker kept pointing at shit, like, asking me to take his number. And so I was like, okay, so I guess we do do speeding tickets during certain times. That's what I thought, right? And then this motherfucker walks in. Like, because one of the lawyers there, you know, we're not in good terms. I haven't talked to her much, to be honest. I think she's probably one of the main reasons why I quit, to be honest with you. I mean, you know, we're not in good terms, because it's just awkward, you know? I feel like she doesn't like me being there, and I feel like she's happy that I left, which, which, is, which is great, because I don't like working there. But she, before that guy came, she emailed... Because I sent the email from the wrong email. So she emailed that person an email saying, Hey, can I get more information? But that's another person's email. I'm not about to go on another person's email and reply to them. So I just decided to fuck it. I don't give a shit. You know, which I guess I fucked up on that on that side, right? Because I used another person's email and I saw the email and I still didn't respond. Which is on my end. I'll take responsibility for that. But, this person comes, I didn't respond to the email, I knew, I knew that she emailed, but I was acting like I didn't see it, this person came up, he was like, alright, and they started talking, it, it was a consultation, and they just started talking, you know, and they started getting heated up, because she was explaining to him the law, because he got a speeding ticket, and he was trying to get out of it, which I don't know how the fuck you're supposed to get out of a speeding ticket, apparently he was going... 10 kilometers an hour over the speed limit trying to overtake a car and you know that's not legal and she was just explaining that to him and it got heated because as soon as he came out to me I'm the only person in that reception by the way the other person left for some reason which is fucking stupid leaving me a 20 year old well about to be 20 about to be 20 year old kid who's only been here for kid come on who are you kidding Nico? I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking A 20-year-old person who's only been working there for a month and hasn't answered phone calls for more than an hour. And you're just going to leave me there? And then I'm just there. He's walking to this reception. And I was like, all right, do you want to pay cash or credit? Because, you know, initial consultation, you got you to gotta pay. And that's 200 bucks. And he got pissed. He got fucking pissed, dude. Because he was like, he looked at me, and then he started walking back to the lawyer, and he was like started asking questions and he started talking about how he doesn't feel helped you're trying to get out of a 
speeding ticket. How the fuck do you expect to get out of a speeding ticket, dude? Like, he wants us to, like, bend the law somehow. Bend the law, you know, do some godfather shit with his speeding ticket. And he got pissed. Uh, the fucking person started calling me out, like, she, she started going, like, oh, well, he's just in training, he doesn't know what he's doing, like, I was like, bro, why the fuck are you throwing me under the bus, but, which is understandable, but, like, I, I don't know what the fuck I'm going about, but she started throwing me under the bus, and then, it's just awkward, now, now the boss is out there, she has to handle this shit, she looks pissed, and I'm just sitting there not knowing what the fuck I'm doing, and I, that was just too much for me, man, too much. So that was that was at Friday, and over the weekend, right? I came back to work on Tuesday. Looking, I came back to work on Tuesday, and I was, you know, I, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Everybody, everybody, you know, makes mistakes, right? Everybody makes mistakes and does dumb shit at work, which is, you know, I understood it. You know, I accepted it, and then fucking. I checked my emails, and this motherfucker sent me, uh, like, like the other admin person, she sent me a photograph, a screenshot of this person's review, and it, uh, I wish I could pull it up, but I don't want to. Alright, I had to stop recording for a second there, because I, there was a person that came to my driveway, but, basically, hold on, let me, let me, let me go and pull up the picture that I took. And I'll go read it to you. I'm not gonna show it to you because I don't wanna, you know, to you know, uh, expose the people. But I'm gonna go and read it. Right, All right. So this is what the review says: Poor service, unprofessional. I had an appointment for just three minutes as the lawyer didn't know what to say. Plus, giving me the wrong information. I confirmed with the receptionist, me, before going there if the lawyer deals with my matter, but he was a liar. They were just interested to charge me $220 for nothing. Please don't go there. Very bad. He called me a fucking liar, dude. I mean, I guess I, I technically... Am I technically am a liar? I mean, no, I'm not a fucking liar, dude, because there's nobody in the entire country of Australia who deals with fucking driving shit like you know i mean sure some will probably deal deal with speeding tickets that's what i mean speeding tickets some will probably deal with speeding tickets right some deal with speeding t tickets but this guy was blatantly blat blatantly speeding like there's nothing to prove otherwise that he wasn't speeding and this motherfucker is saying that i'm that we're liars and shit and you know reading that i mean it's also like the re uh, hold on, let me go back Reading that, you know, I saw that, like, I was like, okay, I fucked up, you know, they, they had to show it to me, so that I knew that I fucked up, and, you know, okay, I fucked up, <sighs> dude, man, I, I think the reason why I got so, like, fucking, I don't know, pissed off, is because they fucking do it over the email, you know, they tell me that I fucked up over the email, instead of actually telling it to me in person, you know, that, you know how fucking stupid that is, like, like, you're telling me that I am doing a terrible job, but you don't have the balls to say it to me in my face. You know, like, you gotta do it passive-aggressively. You're gonna be like, you gotta be like, oh, Nico's a fuck-up, but I'm not gonna tell it to him. And I don't know. Yeah, you know, I got pissed off at that because why the fuck do you need to show me this other than just saying it to me in my face? Which, to be honest, like, looking back, like, you know, I can understand it. I, I can understand why... You know, why they would be kind of hesitant, because they don't want to just tell me that I fucked up, especially in my, you know, when I've only been there for a couple of, for a month, so I, I understand, right, I can understand that, and then they fucking sent me, you know, they've just been fucking me, they're like, at the start, when I started working there, they, they asked me to work more hours than what was agreed on in the fucking agreement, and then now, I checked my email, I was checking my email, so I, I was kind of fucked up in the head, you know, like, I was still kind of fucked up for the fact that, because of the fact that I fucked up in this certain time last week. And then I got an email, and the boss is saying that, hey, you should work more. Like, well, she didn't, she didn't say that specifically, right? She didn't say that specifically, but she did say, like, 
Hey, can you work more hours? Like, what the fuck? I'm only here as a junior admin assistant. What the fuck? You expect me to be a full-time receptionist? I didn't even go into the job expecting to answer phone calls and doing a bunch of sh shit, man. And I just fucking hate that because, you know, before, before I all got fucked up, like before I got moved to the fucking front, which I'm not qualified for, before I got moved to answering, answering fucking phone calls, I was doing really fine. I was starting to get a hang of things. I was starting to, you know, actually do my work correctly. I was, I was getting really comfortable. I was getting into a groove with my school and my personal life. You know, I was really satisfied. And then they fucking pulled the chair under me. Start putting me in the fucking front, giving me telephones to answer, which I fucking hate, by the way. If you, if I know you, and you're calling me, I'm probably never gonna answer you unless you're like a really close friend, like Caleb. But uh, I, I, vi unless unless you're a very close friend like Caleb or you're one of my family members. But otherwise, I'm not gonna answer your phone call. Like if you can tell me something over text or you know messenger, like go fucking do that. Why the fuck do you need to call me unless you're a uh, professional colleague, a family member, or a very close friend. But, you know, I, eat, I hate doing that in my personal life, and I have to do it at work? Like, fuck that, dude. So, that was one notch then. You know, when I had to get moved at the front, I was like, okay, this kind of sucks, but I can probably get used to it. That person got mad cause, because I messed up. And then I started, that was a second strike, right? I, you know, I was like, okay, I'm starting not to like this. I don't think I'm equipped for this. And then I walk into work and I see that the fucking boss wants me to work more hours as I'm starting to get in the groove of things. Like, uh, on top of being, on top of having to do a bunch of shitty work that I don't want to do, which is answering telephones and handling customer shit. And that just fucking threw me off, man. Like, I, I was doing my work before, because I didn't check my email then. I was doing my work, you know, just sitting there. I was by myself, by the way. I'm not supposed to be by myself, but for some fucking reason, I'm by myself. I was getting in the groove of things, and I read the emails, and I was just like, my morale just went to fucking negative five, dude. Like, I, I was just like, I, I just didn't want to do that shit. <laughs> I I just I was just sitting there in my phone. I started texting mom. I was like, "Hey mom, I'm gonna go home now. I don't want to work here anymore." And she was like, "Because this is a family friend, which I fucked up, you know." Note to self: never get employed by fucking family members. This is the reason why you don't get into business with family and friends, dude. Unless you're like really close, which makes sense. But yeah, it's a family friend, and now. And now I fucked up because, <laughs> literally, it was at 10 o'clock, well actually no, it was 9 o'clock, I started going on Reddit, I went to r slash, I'm not going to say this on Reddit, but I, I went to Reddit and started asking people, hey, can I get into trouble if I just walk out of work now? And they were like, they were pretty supportive, you know, even though some were like, are you sure you don't want to, are you sure you don't want to stay, especially in a time like this where work is very scarce? And I, you know, I wasn't thinking about that because I don't give a shit I don't want to work here a lot of people were very supportive though like a lot of people were like telling me you know life's too short to work and shit you don't want to you know all that all that shit so I was very that was very nice to have like people actually telling you positively affirming your decision because my decision there was already made I just wanted people to tell me that that this is what I needed to do which is you know, props to people at Reddit. You know, it's actually really helped me at this point. And mom was starting to question me. She was like, just finish the work day. And I was like, no, no, I don't want to. And then <laughs> I told her that at 10, she, I guess she had a sudden change of heart. And she, I told her and she said, okay. And then <laughs> this is what I did, all right? Man, this story is getting a little bit long. I hope you guys are enjoying the story. I uh, I set a time, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I had a standing task, which I needed to do because there was a person coming in and I needed to hand them their shit. And they haven't came in. I was trying to, I was holding off leaving just for that one person. But it was 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, it's already passed. So what I did, because usually what I bring to work is a notebook, a water bottle, and all my shit in my pocket. 
I what I did at 9:40, right? I started. I low key pulled my keys out of my right pocket. I put it in my in my lap. You know, people. I, I had to make sure that it didn't make any jingling sounds, or else people would get suspicious. I was sitting there, and I was taking out the office keys out of my pocket so I can just put it on the desk because I don't want to be called up to have to return the keys again because I'm leaving. If I have to face against, if I have to face off against these people again, I don't think I can take the cringe and the shame. So I was really quietly pulling out the office keys, really quietly. And actually, I've been really, I, I was successful. You know, I pulled it out, I put it on the desk really quietly, making sure it doesn't make a sound, and I put it there. I put a note down saying, "Here's the keys. Here's my keys," and then I just kept it there. That, and I put my notepad over it, make sure that when the boss walked past, he didn't, she didn't see the, the keys on the desk, so that she didn't know that I was actually quitting. You know, and I was just sat there. Yep, that's it. That's my first stage. And I waited. You know, just waited there. Answered a call, which I actually answered really fine, really well. And then, you know, as the time went on, I started going closer. Right. I didn't need the notebook. I had a bunch of useless shit in that notebook, so I just left the notebook. Because if I went outside with a notebook and a water bottle, it was going to get really suspicious. So I left a notebook on my desk. And my water bottle, I put it in the trash. Because I didn't really need a fucking water bottle. And if it's going to compromise the fact that I'm leaving, then, yeah, it, you know, it's just not worth it. Water bottle is not worth it. You can buy a water bottle elsewhere. So I just left it there. I left my notepad, which had all my work-related writings on it, and my water bottle there. And I was ready. I was ready. I made sure that nobody else was leaving. I waited there for 30 seconds, just gauging the sound of the office. And then I, I, I put my phone in my pocket, on my left pocket, my keys on my right pocket. And I walked up. I, I stood up because the, <laughs> the toilet is outside. You have to walk outside in order to get to the toilet. So I actually went to the toilet because I actually needed to take a piss badly. So I walked up got out of the office, closed the sliding door, went to the toilet, and then, you know, I prepared myself, and then I, I opened the door of the toilet, and I, I was all hyped up, you know, I was like, okay, this is James Bond shit, right? Right? You ready, nigga? You ready? This is James Bond shit. I, I opened the door, started walking casually towards the door, making sure that nobody sees me. I was gauging where everybody's sight lines were, and then I just started walking. I just started fast walking towards my car. Just fast walking. Make sure, make sure, because the road was gravel outside. The car park was gravel. So I made sure that I didn't make a bunch of noises. So I started fast walking, just fast walking to my car, getting my keys out, and getting ready to fucking book it. And as I was pulling out, the guy who I was supposed to give the shit to was pulling in. And, you know, I was reversing, and he was pulling right in. And I didn't know what to do man like I I just I just had to go that's what I did I had to go and I just reversed and started fucking I put the pedal to the metal dude I put it there and there was a stop sign I didn't even stop I mean I still looked but I didn't fully stop and I just booked it <laughs> I didn't even put music on I didn't even put my sunglasses on it was really sunny I just booked it dude and when I, when I got far away, when I got some distance away from the office, I emailed them saying I'm quitting, and that's it. <laughs> and that's, I don't know, man. I don't know if I described it. I, I don't know if I gave that story any justice. But uh, that, that, was, that was probably the most intense quitting story I have. But then again, I don't have much, you know. <laughs> I, I don't know, dude. I, was, I walked into work completely willing to make up for the mistakes I did in the previous week but like just going in there it just fucked me up man like I just didn't I just did not want to work there anymore and yeah you know I'm, I'm out here being you know be, being uh, an absolute burden to society hey for if anything I have a month I don't have any references but I have a month of experience so I got that and you know um you know yeah yeah that's that's it god damn dude that's my quitting story
Hold on, I'm gonna go add more uh, minutes to this, uh, so I'll be right back. Right, and I, I I added another clip to this video so that I can talk more. Am I proud of what I did? You know, that time when I when, am I proud of what I did when I quit? I, you know, I'm not. Uh, some of you are gonna get fucking angry at this because I know some people in fucking Reddit got you know. Well, they didn't get angry, but they were like a bit critical of it. But you know, I'm I'm proud of myself, dude, because. I don't want to fucking work in a place where it just fucking, I don't know. Is that what working is? Just a bunch of fucking surprises? Because if so, then that's shit, man. That's that's fucking shit. Like, I, I don't want to fucking work where there's absolute... Because I thrive. I thrive on, on consistency. You know, I schedule my days way in advance. I wake up kind of at the same time of the day... And then I set times in which I can exercise, practice my guitar. I'm a very schedule-oriented person. And, like, having fucking work just do that shit, man. Especially, you know, I, I'm still in fucking university, and they're asking me, to, asking me to work more hours. Like, I don't know, that just pissed me the fuck off. Because that that's not, like, I'm not even working the agreed hours. Like, like even at that time, I was still working more than what, what I was, than what was agreed upon. Like, I... I'll, I'll I'll agree that you know, I'm, it wasn't a lot that I was working even with the added hours. But then they were adding shit like I already have my schedule set and everything, and then they just kept adding more shit. Like that was just annoying. Which is w one of the reasons why uh, it's also because I didn't groove with the other lawyer person. The, the the main boss person was fine, you know. She, she was nice, but like the other lawyer. You know, who I was supposed to be working with, I just didn't vibe with her, dude. Like, she... It was just really awkward when it was just her and I in the office, so... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just trying to justify this to make it sound like I'm in the right, because, you know, I, I guess I'm not in the right I'm for walking out like that. I should have given my notice like a normal person. But for me, you know, at the time, and probably even now, I'm... I'm happy with the decision I made. I don't have any regrets. I'm not sleeping with a with a terrible conscience because you know, I I have I have limitations. You know, I have limitations in what I'm willing to do and what I'm not willing to do. And you know, being in university and having already shitloads of of work, university work in my fucking hands and having work take you out of that shit and asking you to put in more hours I, I don't know, I just couldn't fucking take that, dude. I, I just didn't want to fucking go to work every day dreading if I'm going to have to work more. I didn't want to fucking do that, so I, I left. And I don't regret anything, you know? I don't regret anything from that. Alright, let's go play some fucking music, dude. God damn. Kind of sick and tired of all this work shit. Like, I just wanted to document that, you know, for future me... I can look back and be like, remember how you were so nervous to walk out of that bathroom to go to your car and drive away? <laughs> Alright. Alright, this is a song. This is another Last of Us song, by the way. This is Through the Valley. This was originally composed by, I think, oh, I forgot his name, Sean James. I think it's Sean James. But then The Last of Us remade it, and this is that one. Right, this is the one where Ellie sings, the one that Ellie sings in the trailer. Right, I've just been playing a lot of Last of Us songs. Right, don't judge me. Right, okay. I don't know why I'm so worried. I don't give a fuck if you judge me. Right. <laughs> Hold on, let me bring my mic up to my eyes, dude, because I breathe really loudly when I play music. Right. <laughs> Ah, fuck. Why the fuck is my headphones banging onto the guitar, dude? Alright, let's do this, let's do this again. I'm gonna be singing, by the way. I walk through the valley of the shadow of death and I fear no evil cause I'm blind through it all in my mind my 
gun, they comfort me Because I know I'll kill my enemy when they come I don't know this part, so I'm probably just going to be mumbling, right? Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell on this earth forevermore Said I walk beside the still waters and they turn my soul And I can't walk on the path of the right cause I'm wrong And I don't know this part so I'm just gonna Came across the man at the top of a hill Held himself the savior of the human race. All the destruction. And then there's like, I don't know, man. This is the part where she's whistling. You guys like my singing? I recorded myself singing before in my in my Instagram account, my private Instagram account, which nobody sees, just me. You know, it's just me recording myself. God damn, I need to memorize that song, dude, because I think I got almost all the chords right. I just gotta memorize the lyrics in order to actually be able to sing with it. Let me just add more time, by the way, so I can do one more song. All right, give myself a couple of minutes, right? All right, this is Future Days. As played by Joel from The Last of Us Part 2, of course. I know I know songs outside of The Last of Us Part 2, but I just don't know it as much as I do these, because th these are the ones that I really like playing the most, right? All right. I still don't know the first part, so bear with me. If... I ever were to lose you, I'd surely lose my soul. Everything I've found here, I've not found by my soul. Trying sometimes, you'll succeed to make this man of me. All my stolen, missing parts have no need for any more cause I believe and I believe cause I can see our future days days of you and me There you go. I forgot to put my fucking mic eye level. So if you if you heard breathing sounds during that, then I'm terribly sorry, right? And that's the two songs I can play very proficiently. Two songs I like and that I can play very proficiently. Other songs, not uh, not so much, dude. Like, to be honest, I'm just going to keep it to those songs, right? And I'm going to go play this again because I really like playing this song. It has a really nice groove to it. that up Hopefully there wasn't a lot of breathing sounds during that because I forgot to forgot to fucking put my mic 
into my eye level again. All right, all right. I hope you guys enjoyed this month's talking. What is this rain? This is the only real content that I've produ produced this month, except for Phasmophobia. You know, uh, I, I really appreciate the support. I'm glad that nobody's unsubscribing. I'm kind of surprised to be honest with you. And I appreciate the support on the Phasmophobia, vi Phasmophobia video and on this video if you do decide to support it. All right. Thank you for if you're still watching. Thank you for sticking around and chilling with me because I just need a place to chill out, you know, and tell my story to my future self. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video, which hopefully should not be in longer than a month from now. All right.